Looks technologically advanced, this area. <laughs> This is suspicious as hell. Why would there be a museum next to a, a closed down gas station? I have to peek in your little sack there if that's okay. Uh, that's okay. Can't trust anyone these days. If you could step through there. Keep your eyes on him, girl. I mean, he's going through your things. Authentic criminological artifacts. If it did something bad, oh, wasn't that here. the Take tablet around, from Archangel time, sad, and the lollipop most everything here. from just the first like episode? A lot of folks just rush behind the curtain, hardly that dude with the mask back there looks step familiar step too. Wasn't that one of the hunters from... I don't even know which season and which episode. It was in downtown New York. Big old building, research up top, the emergency room. Oh, he just tells a story? What kind of crypt keeper nonsense is that? <laughs> this is Kenny. This is Hector. Hmm? Stay with me on this. This reminds me. Why well, wasn't there that guinea pig in his exhibition? Seems like a must have. One of our researchers spills his coffee on Kenny. So obviously he's screaming like hell. But so is Hector. Hector felt the burn but took no damage at all. All of the experience, none of the physical cost. But how did he die? They cut him open after to see if he was okay. Oh. Mm. <laughs> and was he okay? <laughs> Soon graduates to bigger stuff. Major injuries, diseases, late stage terminal stuff. Oh, I wonder what's wrong with this guy. Could he miss a leg, maybe? Dawson had felt appendicitis many times by now, so he knows if it's something more. Caught things they weren't even looking for. Blastomas and so on. Good luck, man. That man saved lives. How can he diagnose something just from feeling the pain? Come on. I mean, sometimes you have pain in one area of your body, even though the culprit is in a whole nother area of your body. It's a pain he's never known. Oh, oh, shit. He, he's flatlining. Then it happened. He felt death. Ah. Oh, God damn it. First say his relationship with pain had shifted. Oh, little. now he enjoys it. He enjoys pain and becomes a serial killer. The more pain he felt. The more pleasure he got. <laughs> Why don't you just hit yourself? Hmm? Authorities are expected to confirm the body is that of missing WNL weather reporter Denise Stogley. He didn't have patience to leech pain off anymore. So he started inflicting <laughs> it on himself. Outrageous. Never heard of that. <laughs> Spent a week just whittling away at himself. Are those toes? Oh my god, he's pulling teeth. <laughs> but it was never enough. I'm sure he finds someone in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> that was straight to the point. I mean, it's over way too fast this way. He'd enjoyed one big old speedball of fear and pain. Tell me they put him in jail. In the hospital. But the thing of it is, they say he still has that look on his face. Blissed out. Still riding that high. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> You're fucking with me, right? Of course okay, he is. I the boner, I <laughs> fun story, huh? Yep, fun story. So how did you end up here, huh? How come you didn't stay in MedTech? Well, I did for a while. Just because Dawson went Lala, neuro research didn't stop. 
Something is wrong with him. Nobody's that thirsty. Not even that woman from Metalhead. Okay, I'm gonna get the lake in the background. All right, buddy. Okay, you ready? Parker. Wait for mommy. She doesn't say hi to mommy. Watch where you go. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about taking Carrie's consciousness from that broken shell and putting it in there. Mm hmm. You took like like a voice inside my head, like the whole of her inside your head, like a like a hitchhiker, like a passenger. Why would you do that? You would never be able to get rid of her. Just imagine you have a fight <laughs> and you can't walk out. She just keeps following you, unless you jump off a bridge. That might shut her up. So what do you say? I'd have to think about it. Curious on her thinking. Well, that's hardly surprising. It's her only escape. <laughs> oh, God, Jack, hold him, hold our little boy. Give me a really big hug, please. Why does your boy look like a girl? I'll never get used to this. <laughs> Feels good, huh? <laughs> Wash your hands, dude. Whoa, you're not washing our hands? <laughs> What's going on with this weather reporter? Is there a twist waiting at the end regarding her? This is serious, man. What? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not being. I'm not being unreasonable. <laughs> he not yet. This kid probably has no idea what's going on. Whatever. 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 Do it. So he upped his privileges. You should be able to. This one. That's it. Okay. Didn't take him long to use them. <laughs> oh, you dog. <laughs> I mean, all of this was pretty much predictable from the start. So had he just thought about it for one minute, he would have figured it out. That this is not a good idea. Oh, who's this? It's Parker. Cool name. Guess I'll see you around? Yeah. I guess I'll see you around. She was nice. Oh, fuck off, man. What's he supposed to do? Be lonely his entire life? Permanent erasure. Uh -huh. No. That, uh -huh. That'd be killing her. Mm, kind of, yeah. But ethically. No, no deletion. I'm not doing it. She wants to be near Parker. I can't take that away. Can't you upload her to something else? What happened to those little eggs that were part of one episode? Once upon a time. We can put her in here. In there. Uh, it's, uh, it has a consciousness receptor. Kind of like the one we put in your head. Does it have to be a monkey, though? <laughs> and she can communicate back in a kid-friendly, controlled way. How? Oh, I'd like to see that. I say yes. You have no say in this, though. Well, she's done her thinking. How about you? <laughs> Come up with a new line, dude. Carrie wouldn't have even been aware it was happening. So she woke up. He probably should have told her about this before going through with it. How does she speak? Well, the calm setup was a little rudimentary. I love you. I mean, this is a prototype. I love you. The monkey loves you. <laughs> Give me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can still have you white. That what you want? Monkey needs a hug. Monkey needs a hug. Monkey needs a hug. Monkey loves you. Better. <laughs> Anyhow, in the end, Parker got tired of his new toy. He needs a hug. <laughs> I bet he does. Come on, mister! Got a visitor! Someone we know? Clayton Lee! Weather girl! Killer! Ain't that right, Clayton? Clayton needs a hug. You. Look out. Maybe you're his type. 
It's her brother. I was gonna slurp up his entire consciousness. He'd be the first guy on death row to survive his own execution. Why would you do that during the execution? Wouldn't that little thing get fried? It was beautiful. Every time he finished juicing him, out pops a conscious sentient snapshot of Clayton. Now recording a true copy of his mind perpetually experiencing that <coughs> beautiful pain. Okay, but would that ever shut up? Who would carry that around if he keeps screaming? What's going on? Sit down. Well, I think the twist is about to be revealed here. What? I just, I'm just not sure what it is. My accent? I'm not fucking British. Oh, man, I was right, huh? Her brother? Or daughter? She stood on his spot, saw what you had done to him. And she pulled the lever. Hey. <laughs> He's like a docile animal. God knows if he even recognized her. God knows if he even recognizes me. Wait, what? Is she the wife? Dead. Oh, no. <laughs> it is possible to transfer a fresh consciousness inside a virtual one. My daddy's giving you a ride. Just to punish him, she's frying her father to death? That doesn't make any sense. Why would she do that? Why wouldn't you just free her dad and put him in there instead? Why would you use the monkey? What's that have to do with anything? So that story isn't a complete waste, huh? So it's actually connected. Otherwise that story wouldn't have had any point. Because it didn't even go with the theme of finding pleasure in the pain of others. <laughs> what adult would do that? I mean, just think about how many times you've lied to your parents, just so they wouldn't know what you were up to. And then you put one of your parents in your hand. Well, to be honest, this feels a bit like they ran out of ideas, so that they just picked up a couple of previous ideas that never made it to a full episode and crammed it into one. Anyway. And so ends a kind of weird season four. <laughs> I mean, almost every episode suffered from plot holes or loopholes or logic holes, something I hardly ever noticed during the first three seasons. So I can just hope that they will improve with the fifth season and actually have some original stories to tell. And that's actually another problem with this season, that so many times I felt like I've seen this before. Just think about how many times they've used this mind transfer, for example. This season alone had three episodes like that, I think. So, like I said, let's hope season 5 is more original than that, with less plot holes or loopholes or logic holes. But until then, Merry Christmas, I guess. <laughs> and a happy... New Year.